Season 2 of The CW Superman and Lois just wrapped up last month and there's a third season on the way. Joining me now to possibly tease what's next or at least at the or at the very least, give me some tips on being a better reporter, as you can see. It's Lois Lane herself, Bitsy Tulloch. How are you doing? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing very great. That was Happy. a great intro. Whew. Thank you so much, it means a lot. Happy to have you here. Season two was a lot. I, lots of family drama and lots to unpack. Um, so my first question, and I was the most excited about this, was that uh, you and Lois and Lucy get some scenes finally, both Lois and Lucy and Clark were introduced in Supergirl, but now you guys get to come together and play together. What was it like getting to work with Jenna and have like the Lane family in full force? I, I never worked with Jenna on Supergirl and she is just so delightful. She is so fun. And my God, if anybody can convince me, and I am not a good dancer, she was had me doing like TikTok dancing on set and I was and it just was she just is like joy personified and she's a pleasure to work with even though our storyline was for the most part really dark and serious and she was in a cult and everything just you know when the cameras weren't rolling we were just literally we just kept saying we're like we're, we're like sisters and we text each other and it's like wait, which face cream did you say was so great oh it's this one. Oh, okay where's that good park to take your kids like oh, we just awesome. really have a lot in common and, and I had a blast working with her and I hope she comes back in some capacity speaking of reporter stories now Chrissy knows that Clark is Superman and Clark is now getting a job at the Gazette what kind of uh, adventures or you know stories do you think they can break together as a team next season I don't know I, I, I'm really excited for that that team up a, a bit of a motley crew with Clark joining the team I'm really glad that Chrissy finally knows I know it's really hard for Lois keeping that secret from her and I I know that the fans too were really missing and wanting more of Lois Lane as a journalist and so I, I certainly hope that we're gonna see a lot more of that kind of stuff season three as well. The season ends and now there's a new fortress and the whole family is involved. What, uh, first off, where are the Kents now? Like their relationship is, how, how are they feeling about each other and do you think they're more unified now more than ever? I think, or, you know, it, it's not always true that traumatic situations bring people closer. I think sometimes it tears families apart, but I feel like this is a very close, tight-knit family, and I can only imagine or, or hope that we'll be just closer as a result of all this. That said, I haven't read um, anything for season three. I know the writers just got back to work last week, so it'll mm -hmm. probably be at least another month before I, I read a script. Okay. Well then, looking back, um, what was it like playing the Bizarro versions of yourself? That was really fun. It was just such a such a departure from the Lois Lane that we're used to. I really liked the wig. I liked the wardrobes. Um, Tyler and I got to do some really serious scenes where we were yelling at each other and spitting on each other. And and the reality is, you, Lois Lane and Clark Kent are very much an iconic couple, and they're very much in love. So to see this iteration of them where they're not getting along and they were mm -hmm. fighting and the, the family, it was like everyone was just existing in different realities. Like there wasn't a lot of connection. Nobody was really supporting each other. So I think it was a little wake up call to them be like, okay, let's not become that. Another strained or I guess in progress relationship that I hope we get to see more of uh, next season is the Lois and Natalie relationship. I know there was that first hurdle when she first came by, but um, what do you hope for that relationship now that, you know, you have the Kents, but then also there is Natalie. Right. It, it is almost as though Lois got a third kid. Um, obviously, Lois doesn't really have any memory of Natalie. Um, I love working with Taylor, the actress who plays Natalie. I think she's a tremendously talented actress. I, she's bringing something different to it. She's really able to tap into these emotional places and, and I do think it's it's interesting for me as an actor. I do have a child, she's three, but it, she's a little girl and to explore the dynamic of what, it, what it's like to be a girl mom um, and all the complexities that a teenage girl brings to the equation. And so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to working with her more season three. This season, Clark and the Kents really share Superman secret with uh, a closer group of people, but still a lot more than people ever knew in Smallville. And it's always been this uh, albatross of a decision for them to make. One question I had was if you thought that 
Lana was right to be mad at Lois uh, instead of Clark, and do you think you I, needed to apologize? I cannot speak for Lana. My opinion is that Lois was protecting her family, and it was not her secret to tell. It was Clark's secret to tell, and, uh, and I, I feel like Lois felt horrible for making Lana feel so bad, and I know Lana felt betrayed, but at, at the end of the day, she was, she was being a mama bear, and she was protecting her family, and, and really, that was on Clark to tell her. Um, and as, if, if you remember in the scene when Clark says, should I tell, Lois is like, yes, absolutely, tell her. But again, it, it never felt like Okay, you you go do that. I'll tell her, honey. You, you just take a, you know. Yeah. I can't wait for more drama in Smallville to unfold, and for the Kents and all the all the families of Smallville to be there together. Fitzy, thank you so much for joining us. IGN's Comic Con coverage will be right back after this.